Hey, hey, what is up, YouTube? Andrew Rooney here. I'm a full time drummer and drum teacher here in Auckland, New Zealand. Clips on both sides, I'm not gonna paddle in New Zealand. And today we're gonna get to a new track from Metallica. I had no idea Metallica were releasing a new album, and the song we've got here is Lux. I don't know how to. What is this? A and an E in the same letter? I'm gonna say Eterna. Lux Eterna. Now, just real quick before we get into the reaction of my thoughts, uh, my background with Metallica, I'd say I'm a casual fan. I owned the Black Album. I thought that was a genius. You know, that's I think their magnum opus. Most people would agree. Even the hardcore Metallica fans probably agree. Although there's a lot of love for those early albums as well. I also had and Justice for All. So I owned those two and I also owned Load. Now, full transparency here and not throwing any shade. That's probably where I clocked off and I was like, okay, it's run its course for me. I dig those two albums that I had and Justice for All and the Black Album and Load. While there are a couple of good tracks on there, sort of lost me a little bit. But with that said, let's check out Metallica Lux Eterna. Let's go. Hold up. Wait a minute. Oh, and really important before I forget, Lars is, uh, let's say, a polarizing character in the drum community. And I'm going to give some hot takes on my thoughts on Lars after the video. So stick around for that. Let's go get it. Playing open-handed here, Lars with an auxiliary set of hi-hats to the right. Really cool groove. Um, classic Lars-isms with the choke cymbals on that intro. 16th note kick pattern. And um, so far, so good. I actually kind of like this. You hear that little 32nd um, note partial on the kick? Uh, little, uh, just a small little pickup into the vocal. Look, check it out again. I gotta say, um, and apologies for stopping this video, original video link in the description, of course, go along and check it out. I gotta say, there's always a fear with one of these legacy bands that, you know, releasing this later stuff that it's gonna be, I'm not saying this with Metallica, but you know, you're scared that it's gonna be embarrassing or just bad or, this is kind of slamming. <laughs> I actually really, really dig this. Those cymbal chokes, classic Lars for me. And he was probably one of the first people as a younger drummer myself who I saw doing that kind of thing. Um, you know, you gotta, you gotta learn this from somewhere and seeing him hitting a crash and choking it, grabbing it, cutting off the sustain. I mean, that's really powerful when you're a young drummer and you see the effect that has, creates drama, creates tension, it creates a staccato effect on the crashes. It's just, yeah, classic Lars with his flams and his double kick and, yeah, it's just good stuff. I'm going to back it up a little bit.
really good drum composition uh, there. If we want to talk drums, killer solo, absolutely killer solo. But we all we all know Kirk Hammett is an absolute weapon on that guitar, and you know, really well composed and orchestrated drum part that captured, supported, and then and echoed or caught the rhythm that Kirk was doing on the guitar at the end of a solo and segued into the next section. I just want to check that bit out again. Super impressive uh, for me at the moment. I'm probably going to get into this uh, when I talk. I do intend. I've been wanting to do a video on Lars for a while because he gets uh, he gets attacked a fair bit. Well, not a fair bit. A lot. Um, and, you know, you're seeing here some classic drum composition, musical stuff musical input from the from the drums that supports the ensemble these bands are not big and famous for no reason they're really good at what they do i mean ringo i put him in the same category as lars in terms of a guy that just gets you know smashed from pillar to post and you know they're not selling hundreds of millions of albums by accident there is something there trust me So this is what I would call supporting the ensemble at the moment. Just capturing like the main rhythm and melody of the part. But listen to what he does here on the fill. Go back a bit more. Classic, choke, 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 and then sustain. Didn't choke that crash because everyone else let the notes ring out. This might be really obvious stuff, uh, but if you're starting out in a band or if you're looking for ways to compose drums, you gotta go to the guys who have sold a lot of albums and see what they do. Copy them. Extended section there with a, I think they added a bar in and extended out the fill. Going into this, what I'm assuming is the final chorus, tension and release. Extending sections. This is, <laughs> this is what it's all about. I'm gonna go back again. They added a bar in there, right? And it creates tension before that climactic That's what she said. final chorus. Metallica's back, baby. And for that, I'm going to give that five James Hetfield yes out of five. That was really, really enjoyable. I actually dug that. I'm a little bit nervous going into this one. <laughs> I really, really dug it. Okay, I was going to get into a bit of a, a Lars rant to wrap up this video. But uh, you know what? I'm going to save it for another video. Uh, my next, the next video on my channel, I will give my honest feedback on Lars. 
Guys, remember original video link in the description of each video. Do go along and check out the original video. If you enjoy this video, if you enjoy my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really does help me out. And every time you subscribe, you add 10 BPM to your single stroke roll speed, guaranteed. And if you did subscribe, thank you very much. Here is a picture of a baby otter. Remember, you as a subscriber of my channel get access to a full and free 30 day trial over at Dromeo. Just hit the link in the description of the video and go get it. It's on me. Guys, until next time, take care, keep chopping wood. Ciao.